An array is a special type of variable. An array has a name, just like other variables. But unlike the variables we've met so far, an array can store more than one value. You can tell Arduino to get or change a value in the array, just like you can with a variable. You use a number called the index to tell Arduino which value you want to use. You can think of an array as a notebook and the index as the page number. You can write a single value on any page or get the value that is currently written on a page using the index. So if you say, hey Arduino, what's the number stored in our array at index 1? Arduino will tell you that it's 100. Wait, why is it 100? That's the second value. Well, computers start counting from 0. So a computer says that the first value in the array is at index 0. The second value in the array is at index 1. The third value is at index 2, and so on. This is a bit weird at first, but you'll get used to it. Let's create our first array. We declare arrays just like other variables. First there's the type of value stored in the array, then the name, then an opening and closing square brackets, which tells Arduino it's an array, not a normal variable. Next comes an equal sign, and then some values inside a pair of curly brackets. These values are separated by commas, and there's a semicolon at the end outside the brackets. All the values in the array have to have this type, so you can't store a string inside an array of ints, for example. We can tell Arduino to use some value in the array, like this. We type the name of the array, and then the index of the value we want it to use. We put the index inside the square brackets. Ooh, a fun fact! What happens if I use an index that doesn't fit a value in the array? This tells the Arduino to get a value that's stored somewhere else in its memory. This could be some other variable, or it could just be empty. Either way, we're not going to get a useful value, and this can cause a bug. In C++, which is the language that Arduino and Awesome Shield code are based on, trying to use a value that's outside an array is a common cause of bugs and security problems in software. So there you go. Arrays in a nutshell. You declare an array like this, giving it a type, a name, and then a set of values inside some curly brackets separated by commas. And these square brackets here tell Arduino that the variable is actually an array. To get a value out of the array, you write the name of the array followed by the index inside square brackets.